So guys, welcome to our channel once again. In today's video on our Y College examination series, we have here these 10 questions to answer on the topic, concept of living. So guys, this video will be about organization of life. So in short, stay till the end of this video. So let's go ahead and start with the first question here. It says, a serious disadvantage of complexity in higher organisms is A. High demand for food and energy. B. Little amount of energy dissipated in functioning. C. Specialization of parts of the body. D. Ability to function in many specialized roles. So guys, the answer to this question is option A. A high demand for food and energy. And that's it for that question. Let's go ahead and check out the next question. Question number two. So guys, the question here says, Hydra is considered to be at a tissue level of organization of life because it A. has specialized organs and system B. has poorly developed nervous system C. reproduces by body D. has numerous cells that perform different functions So guys, the answer to this question is option D here a hydra is actually considered to be a tissue at a tissue level because it has numerous cells that perform different functions. So remember that a tissue is a collection of cells, an organ is a collection of tissues, then a system is a collection of organs, and so on. So numerous cells with their distinct functions will make up a tissue then numerous tissues with their distinct functions will make up an organ then organs will make up the system so that's just the way it goes so in the case of a hydra it is considered a tissue because it is made up of numerous cells that perform different functions and that's it for that question let's go ahead and consider the next question question number three here it says Organ level of organization in living things is found in A. Spermatozoon B. Water leaf plant C. Kidney D. Virus particle So guys, the option here that is an organ level is the kidney So the kidney is made up of a series of tissues that's numerous tissues Now these tissues make up the organ and that's it for this question. The kidney here is at the organ level. And that's the answer to this question, option C. So let's go ahead and consider the next question. Question number four here, it says, Study the list of organisms below and use them to answer the questions. We have I, Hydra, IIO, III, Snake, IV, Snail. Arrangement of the organisms in order of increasing complexity is A. IV, III, II, and I. B. I, III, III, and IV. C. I, IV, III, and II. D. I, III, III, I, and IV. So guys, the correct answer to this question here is option C, and that's I, IV, III, and II. So you see that in the complexity, you have to, for you to actually understand complexity well, you might need to also understand evolution well, and both of them actually have a link together though so the least in the complexity here is the hydra right which is the first to evolve among all these if you consider them based on their evolution so you have the hydra first and then followed by the snail which is ivy and then you have the snake and then you now have the owl which is like a bird right so that's their order you have hydra then snail then snake which is actually a reptile and then the bird which which is the owl in this case so it's believed that 
the snails that the reptiles actually evolved before this the birds so that's why it's coming first before here so that's their order of complexity and perhaps looking at the birds you see they are more complex than the reptiles and that's it for that question guys let's go ahead and consider the next question question number five here it says the organism at the organ organization of life is a tapeworm b euglena c spirogyra d ginger so guys obviously the answer to this question is ginger here and that's option d here ginger is made up of tissues different tissues and that's the organism here that is at the organ level out of these organisms listed here and that's it for that question so let's go ahead and consider the next question question number six here it says at what level of organization is amoeba so we have a tissue b system c cellular d organ so guys the amoeba is at the cellular level and that's it for this question that's option c here so that's the answer to this question let's go ahead and consider the next question question number seven here it says which of these could be regarded as an advantage of complexity in higher organisms a cellular differentiation leads to laws of independence of the cells b cellular differentiation occurs in few cells only c there is no cellular differentiation d cellular differentiation leads to internal structural specialization so guys option d here is the answer to this question cellular differentiation actually leads to internal structural specialization which is actually an advantage here and that's the answer to this question so let's go ahead and consider the next question question number eight here it says the diagram below is an illustration of a living organism the level of organization of the organism is a system b organ c cell d tissue so guys the answer to this question is option c and that's cell so that's it for this question let's go ahead and consider the next question question number nine here it says the basis of growth involves the following processes except a cell reduction b cell enlargement c cell differentiation d cell division so guys the process of growth like i'll say again here involves cell differentiation cell division cell differentiation and cell enlargement so guys in the process of growth there is no cell reduction and option a is the answer to this question so that's it for this question let's go ahead and consider the next and last question question number 10 here it says which level of organization is pyrogyra we have a organ system b cell c tissue d organ so guys obviously the pyrogyra is a cell and that's option b here so that's the answer to this question so guys this is where we end this video for today if you enjoyed this lesson please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're not a subscriber also if you have any specific question regarding this video you can drop your question in the comment section below and we're ensure to give you a response so guys we also want to encourage you to join our youtube channel community where we post major updates on work examination so this will be very helpful to you even as you prepare for your work examination for the year so you can join this channel community by hitting the join button below and we'll see you right there thank you once again for watching this video and see you on the next one